Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of the Magic Circle series. I hope you're all having fun with this one so far. As you might remember last episode, we came to the starting startling revelation that the game started out as a text adventure, eventually proceeded into a sci-fi space station-y thing, and now we seem to come out the other end of that uh, with our Howler friends here. Oh, hello. Jumping into my face. That's rude. Uh, we came out the other side of the space station back into Fantasy World and saw some stuff over there that we can't touch yet. So we're going to wander over toward this volcano or whatever this is. I can s clearly see there's some holes in the world or some kind of ghostly apparitions. Come to think of it, I haven't been killed in a while. Weren't there things I was supposed to only be able to interact with when I'm dead? I don't know. Let's figure this out. So my life from cracks is perfect right now. Don't need anything out of there. Oda, I told you this sci-fi stuff is completely irrelevant to the demo. It wasn't me, sir. Truly. Just some kind of glitch. With great dramatic timing. I see. Wow. How old is this stuff? My god. Years. I'll be 61 in the fall, Coda. No family. For better or worse, this is what they'll remember me by. Uh, yes, exactly. On that demo stage, you have to make yourself believe again. Long ago, I proposed a system that would generate this unique offspring up there? from player behavior. You could teach them like real children. The tech team said no. This is your baby. Tech will have to take the fake demo version as a challenge. You know? Yes, damn it. Saying this aloud, how can the demo be about anything else? That crowd has to see a child born into our world, and love it as I do. To fear for its future as I do. What was it I said at the end of the original text adventure? By the time we understand our legacy... It is too late to change it. <laughs> so she's kind of sucking up to him pretty hard. It's actually kind of neat to see the juxtaposition between the, like, the current gen looking graphics to the like PlayStation 1 era progression. And, and then of course we've got like the actual developer eyeballs that are supposed to be representative of the like a camera view. And then there's a, you know, XYZ grid around them showing that they're moving through three dimensional spaces, you know, as if they were looking into a wireframe. And we just happen to be in the textured, modeled version of things. Uh, it's a neat thing to see that all happening all at the same time. So I'm sorry that I came back up here just in time for the dialogue to end, but it seemed like they were talking for so long that maybe I should be there to witness their actors or entities moving around in space. Evidently, uh, timing was a little off. Why is this chasm so freaking deep over here? Dark, creepy space. Alright, so there's some kind of creature over there that we're obviously going to interact with. There is some kind of satellite dish and music that just kicked in? Oh, is this the blending? Is this fantasy space? Or are we doing both? Kicked them all into gear at the same time. Or maybe all the realities are just collapsing upon themselves. What did I... Jugadillo. All right, what do you do, Jugadillo? I'm gonna trap you. I hope you're prepared for this. What kind of abilities do you have? You move by ground. Yes, we understand this. You attack with nothing, so you're actually harmless. No special abilities to speak of. Enemies are nothing. Allies are nothing. I can be picked up to or false. Uh, you guys don't seem to have a lot going on. So Jugadillo is not not high on my list of priorities right now. They don't seem to care about much. Can I stand in them or something? No. Oh, yeah, I can, actually. Okay, so likely when I get the ability to fly, I will turn these into flying creatures. Oh, God. What was that? I want to see what this even was. I mimic Hiver Queen. Locked by groupthink. Okay, so I can't actually change these. I move by ground. I attack with melee. Abilities are groupthink. Enemies are the hero. Allies are... I can be picked up. Okay. So this is interesting. Uh, groupthink is not some mysterious entity. But we can follow this trail back to where the groupthink originates. So that's a clever way of keying us into that fact. But I also kind of want to go over here unless rock discovered. Oh, wait, what? 
Turned a rock into reality. Can I edit it from here? No, I don't think so. I don't think I have the ability to get over this yet. Oh, unless I can float one of the... the dillos over there. Maybe I can, actually. Is this the one that I said I can pick up? Yes. You just kind of plop it in the lava and see what it does with that. If it dies, well, I'll feel bad, but... I would like to try walking on it and with it. Oh, you don't want to go in there, huh? All right. Try maybe a little further out. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have known better. All right, so that's not how we do that. I should probably proceed with the first hint that I was given. Pretty good soundtrack. I think so far the soundtrack is uh, it's the most cohesive element that this game has going for it. And I'm already off track because I saw that there was this. Alright, you guys go to work. Didn't even stand a freaking chance. Oh, whoa, what's going on in here? Why is that glistening like that? Uh, there must be something up above it that's maybe casting shadows like dynamically underneath. Am I breaking in right now? What am I doing? Alright, Mysterious Mushroom, what do you have for me? Oh. These... Maze, can we talk about give me a thing. Cameras? These headsets. Um, given what I'm... Uh, what you're asking me to accomplish, it's risky to speak freely into so many mics. Yeah, you learn to unsee them. The whole office is wired up. Everything you do or say here is considered content that we own, in case it's genius. It is. So, that's why you have to get fired. Contractually, the company cedes control of your likeness, your voice. But if I just quit before we ship, ha ha, they keep the rights. Anyway, don't sweat the mics. At TMC, assume the spectrum runs from total indifference to total incompetence. Nobody actually checks the recordings. And my plan gets me fired before they come into play. All right. Good to know. So everybody's in a state of fear. Okay, just ease in. There's got to be some really fantastic and very uh, inflammatory dialogue happening here with regard to possibly some inner workings of triple-A game development. I have to wonder if there's a, a very specific thing being mentioned, but I don't know. I'm not equipped to say. Is there uh, anything I can do with this rock that's especially useful? I would kind of like to just try. And take a... Oh, fireproof. Okay, actually, this is great. Take all behaviors. So, we got fireproof. That means that I can go back and edit the armadillo things. So that way I can let them wade through the lava. Okay, violence. Who's talking? Oh. Children will Every strip the flesh from your bones and we will feast. And an odd man out. Like Starfather and his entourage, whispering in a tight little circle. And me standing at remove and shouting, You ain't so hot. From here I can see all your asses. It's scheming to make it all fall apart. But if the oddball wins, hell, they become the new normal. No thanks. If there has to be a new boss, I choose you. Pikachu, trial by fire. Do you think I'm too old to use a search engine? Sir? I was too quick to trust you. Greetings, streamers. After this latest delay, all I can say is Ishgilder is no longer the star father I once worshipped. Wait, wait! That is the passion of a fan. Maybe THE fan. In my family, it's a toss-up who has the more anticipated sequel. You or Jesus. <laughs> Coda, it's just a game. Not to me. Ah, correct answer. Correct. Now sit here, read through the entire script, and then render unto me some piercing insights. Or you can start another stream with this. Greeting streamers just got fired by a has-been god. Wow. Rough. The parallels again between this and the beginner's guide, just pretty wild. People who are over enthusiastic about someone's work 
seems to be a consistent theme. Uh, Maze, lead designer. Eric, I want the name of the level Drudge, who put a flamer behind magic bars here. I want the name of the level Drudge. Is that... I don't think I understand. Uh, do your people ever actually watch QA play the game? Everyone who comes in here misses whatever BS scripted scene is supposed to be sold in this zoo escape area. Because by the time it starts, the flamer gets aggroed and the player is just a nuclear shadow on the wall. Uh, halfway through a shrug. Anyway, I took out the fire burst attack. That solves the first half of your problem. After whatever space magic happens that makes the bars go away, don't expect this thing to do much. Oh. Well, I expect this to do something. Maybe not much. Now, when you took out its ability, did you remove it entirely, or did you just... Flamer, move with nothing, attack with nothing. Enemies are hero, nothing. Allies, flamers, picked up. No, I guess, I guess it really doesn't do all that much. The old fun town flamer. What, it, what can I do with this thing? Oh, this has a stat upgrade, right? At least it did last time. I don't know if it will again. Oop. There we go. Running with a very base level... No, I didn't mean to do that. I keep getting the E and F confused over and over and over again. Maybe I should have just remapped that if that's an option. Probably would have been easier. So I'm still looking for the groupthink originator. Assuming it's here somewhere. Oh, it's close. My howler pack took care of that no problem at all. What? What's going on here? Okay, there's more. It's coming from over there and over here. I'm gonna just drop this thing because it's kind of annoying me. Oh, there's like a whole bunch. Okay, this is probably going to be an actual problem. All my dudes are going to get wrecked before I have any chance to do anything. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Did I confuse their AI? I don't think they know how to pathfind around this ledge. I'm so smart. Oh, that is that is my HP. When something dies around here, even you, that life ends up in the cracks. You want to bring back a ghost? Gotta give it some life. That makes sense. It is, the more it'll cost you, just like the circle. Okay, that makes it is, sense. Boss, if it's worth doing, it's gonna hurt. And just like life. So that's good. Ally can be me, I guess, or, no. Well, I don't know if I should make it me, but... Move by ground. Enemies are nothing. Okay. Bring it back to life. Grab it. Toss it in. Now, how do I make it cross the lava, or is this just gonna be a luck if it works? Seems to be walking in the correct direction. It's taking a while, but I, and thankfully it's, it's cooperating with my vision. Oh, uh, oh, don't turn yet. We've got... Oh, we're really not going very far, are we? Can we... Ally... Oh, God. Ally with the rock, maybe? And then maybe it'll walk over to it? Yeah, you can ally with a rock. Some odd thinking, but I think it might work. Please. Do it. Are you actually walking or what? Doesn't seem that way. Uh, what else can I do here? You're fireproof. I thought I was walking all that time. It seemed like I was just... Oh. Oh, come on! You just don't want to walk when I'm on top of you. Oh, no. What have I done? 
That was my only fireproof. I'm not sure I can actually do anything about that. Too far to trap. What have I done? Maybe there was a better way to have done this, smarter way. Oh, what's going on down here? All manner of different creatures, it looks like, that I've never seen. We got the Hand Fortress, we got the Spaceship Ride, and we got the, uh, uh Fungus Plant. How am I gonna get my friend back? Can I edit it? Oh, I can edit it, okay. Yeah, allies are me. Now walk back this way. That works fine. Now I'm on top of you. My allies are... The rock. Are you sure? This one right there, man. Oh, oh! Oh! Okay. This'll work. I just have to keep jumping. I'm creative. I'm smart. Look at all these rocks. And now, I can grab these rocks and take more fireproof from them. Hooray! Wait, I think I only took the same one twice. Rock? Yeah, I want this one. Edit. Take. Thank you. Oh. oh. I didn't think that there'd be spaceship in this. Where on earth am I now? Should I even be here? I should probably resurrect all my dogs, huh? Oh, God. What have I brought with me? Okay, no, we're fine. All the dogs come back. I always seem to bring a corpse with me, too. You know, that's fine. I guess because I made it my ally. You brought all this oh, hi. Back. So what do you actually want? Maybe steal someone's account and edit the world like we do? No. Be my guest. Just do it to that three-faced intern, Coda. She's holding a gun to my personal brand. But if you hijack her machine and lock out her controls right as the demo starts... Her plans will implode, and I'll give you her job. Oh, thanks. Uh, we're actually going to change these corpses to not be my allies, because that way they don't keep appearing everywhere I go. Alright, I'll think about it. I'm going to do the thing that serves me more than the thing that serves you. That's just kind of how it goes. I am only beholden to my audience, really, at this point. Although I guess we get at odds sometimes too. Seeing all this again. Yep. Once you do like one entire world on a whim, shadows of the empire. The sin of it is past. It might just become habit. That's who the gods are now. If today stings a little, they box it, bury it, and by tomorrow it never was. It's a tough life. Digital, uh, ephemerism? I've coined that term just now. Sure, why not? Alright, can I steal telepads? Apparently I can. My special abilities are teleport other. This is an interesting thing. Um, can I use this first to see what it does? I mean, I know what it'll do, but can I see where it takes me? Did I just teleport? Oh, there we go. Ah, that's better. So I'd probably want to, like, grab the power off of this. Creatures you can build through the drone. Oh, I know that. I just want to grab these. Thank you, though. I didn't mean to actually do that to everybody. And we're still at full. Not entirely sure where I am. Uh, I guess the map would probably tell me. Oh, we've discovered, like, all the rest of that section, huh? There's a little bit of a question up there. 
I like that little rock section that we did with the lava. I hope there was more things like that. Obviously, we owe an immense debt to the Clarkian first contact stories. I mean, you've played it by now, but I can't help pitching. An object nicknamed the Magic Circle appears in space, in a universe danger close to heat death, okay? But the brave souls who volunteer to suit up and pass through the circle come back dead. Oh. But wearing this beatific grin, classic. I mean, if you are in Tingly right now, you have no soul. Yeah, yeah, you really are really into that idea, I guess. That's fine. It's alright, I've not totally been compatible with some things before, and I can still appreciate that they have intrinsic worth. However, I think this one particular thing might be a little bit past my ability to, to ken. Alright, we've got to figure out what's at the base of this group mind and get to it soon before I end up killing all of my allies again. So this can only go on for so long. Even with a, a lovely set of friends like I have. Can't expect this much from them. Queen's Hive discovered. Okay. We're near. Uh, Alright, Eric Last, uh, lead level designer. Okay, I'm not sure who turned the Queen encounter, or tuned the, tween, the Queen encounter. The tween encounter. Uh, but her melee range is way longer than the player's sword, and her attack rate does not leave openings for any approach. Even Maze can't get near her without getting insta killed, as her damage uh, was set ridiculously high. This is a progress blocker. Please fix immediately, and maybe test without cheats before checking your changes, Jim. Or checking in your changes. I don't know, it seems like everybody along the way here is fairly incompetent. Um, we can't trap this. How would I approach this fight, then? Can I trap something near it? That just sort of deconstructs. Are my allies all dead? You guys... Oh, I took the corpses anyway? Oh, come on. Yep, yeah, you come back. I thought I set these to stop. Maybe I'll throw the corpses up into it or something. Maybe it'll eat them. Nope. Where exactly does it go? Okay. There's the range. Allies are all dead. It took all of one second. We're probably not going to approach that again. Uh, I'm going to need some life, though. Good thing I've got my buddies. What's over here? Another rock? Why'd there be another rock over here? Is this the secret? Do I need this for something? Take another fireproof? Do I not have fireproof now? I thought I had several. Kinda want to explore down there, but I'm pretty sure I'm not coming back if I go. Oh, hello. Uh, they can't climb up here, right? Yeah, I don't know what to do with that. Okay, there's a good many. Uh, where am I going to get some life? I feel like I'm not capable of engaging in this. Uh, maybe this thing has something to do with it? Enemies... Oh, can I make it... Hiver Queen is the enemy, but... Fireproof, that's not really going to do anything. How do I make it explode like it did in the narrative? I wonder. Maybe I should just bring it. See what it does. Maybe if I drop it in the lava even, maybe it'll do something that way. Okay, all of the hivers seem to stay dead, so maybe this will actually work out. I mean, I guess this is a fool's errand, but I'm going to try it anyway. Just to be different. <laughs> I threw it right through! Oh no, I may have just created more trouble again. How do you break a game that is inherently broken? Stay tuned! <laughs> Find out. This is my way of the ninja. I feel like there's a good Counter-Strike map in this somewhere. Oh, there's no textures on top of here. You guys. 
if you're gonna empower me as a beta tester or something, like, you gotta at least give me the ability to add textures onto things. I could actually be making your work a lot easier. Just give me a little, just a little paint fill. Nothing that scary or bad or hard to figure out. Just a little paint fill. I know there was life over here. I guess that means I can't go this way for now. I'm gonna have to go steal some other attribute and come back. Uh, it sucks I don't have my allies because I just left them where I was. I don't think I can fast travel over there either. I've only got the one howler. Well, let's go explore a little bit more. There's got to be somebody around. Now, the Dillos can't help. They're really just good for standing in. They're a bowl. Oh, lots of pests press Q to quickly or easily cycle through all available, even if they're dead. Oh! Thank you, that is a very handy bit of... In oh, only if you're near them. I thought somehow I could, like, bring them up in a thought bubble. This is, like, a very large crack. Not sure why that looks like that. Alright, maybe we should go engage the Skull Fortress. Maybe this queen fight is for later. Um, uh, maybe we'll just... Oh, okay. We're gonna trap you. So we'll recruit some new friends. So apparently we can recruit friends for the entirety of the whole thing. Uh, enemies are nothing. Allies are the hero. Pick up true. Special abilities are fireproof. That's really all you've got. Uh, where was the... Oh, right here. Ah, I should have probably resurrected the other dog first, but oh well. Suboptimal plays. These will happen. Yep, Phil Ally. Welcome back. And we've got a glitched out rock or something, so I assume this will give me a stat point. And also give me an audio log. Her heads all smiled. Well, read my script. Thoughts? It's a little... In Act 3, when Starfather returns from the dead, it feels cheap because nothing has changed. Respectfully, we've already solved this in fanfic. Oh, that's a porn thing, isn't it? And I, I... I don't go in for that kind of... Starfather should come back as a woman. For he hath known the shape of man and woman both. Your words. This is... surreal. You people know my world better than I do. And if you run into a story problem, I can start a forum argument about it. They won't even know they're working for you, Starfather. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me more about your dark art, my child. Oh, this is weird. All right, we got buddies. We're going to go inspect, see what these guys are down here. Maybe they're the missing link that I need. Also, what is this? Maybe I'll find out later. This place looks pretty wild. This seems like a place that I'd want to hang out in for sure. Should be able to get back up that, right? Or at least go another way? Oh, hello. Alright, what are these guys? Oh, it's those! No! Why did you have to run willingly into that? Okay, uh, you guys need to be fireproof, I guess. No, stop, 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 stop. Uh, we, want, we want to add special ability fireproof. I think I could use that ability quite a bit my own self. And we'll edit this one, make it also fireproof. Come back. Oh, I don't have enough life anymore. Well, the, uh, the other buddy seems to be taking care of this since it's fireproof. So now we can grab all of the, whatever this ability is. I attack with fire burst. Yeah, let's take all of those. So I was kind of right. I think what I'm going to need to do is use these uh, to kill the boss. And we'll just we'll grab all of these. We'll have more than enough fireproof and flame bursts. That's exactly what we needed. And now what I need is a little bit more life. 
Is there any around? I'm a little surprised that if we're doing a, uh, sort of a trading shell game, like Link's Awakening Zelda style or something like that. Uh, but we're actually getting rather transparently revealed to us what the next steps in the trading puzzle are. It's kind of like if we were playing Super Metroid or something. First yellow door we see, like, right next to it, there's some power bombs. Well, maybe a second yellow door. I can shield you with my magic, but I'm locked in Nadir's prison. Free me. Oh, this feels like a trap, doesn't it? I'm not sure what to do with that. Mushrooms. Are we getting a... Uh... This is another Dark Souls reference. I see there's actually a body in there, which means that I can probably grab a stat point. Looks like a big old key is necessary, unless there's another way around it. Can I trap the door somehow? Is that... Yeah, there's nothing to edit there. Um, if I could, like, hook onto something inside of there, I guess I could use a telepad. Maybe. If that's how that works. Oh, I've found... Secret access? No, this is not secret access. This is just broken. You know, the game's kind of pretty at times. Certainly noteworthy graphically at times. You know, it's supposed to look sketchy and all that, but it's kind of neat. Is this the telepad that I need? No, it's just another audio. Coda, I'm alone in a conference room. I scheduled a meeting with myself in search of quiet. What is Metal Gear? A Mr. Byron Rafe called? You're a loan officer? Yes. He says you've taken out some, quote, Faustian personal loans to make payroll. <laughs> and unless this project hits big, which it will, you end up slightly homeless. So... Please stop offering me a salary. Coda, I find the right people. I lock them in a room. The only word for what emerges is a miracle. Or we kill each other. Either way, problem solved. Alright, that's a great outlook on how to do software development. Absolutely. Can we... I don't know why, but I felt like we could maybe edit this object. That's not really a thing, though. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with this part yet. I feel like I'm onto something with the teleporter idea, but I'm not sure quite how to implement it yet. Oh, I got up here, huh? Oh, we're going around the outside. There's an area that looks just like this in Dark Souls 2. Oh, climbing ever higher. Okay. Collision detection is a little funny. Yeah. Wait, is this a different way? Yeah. Is this where I came in, or is this another way? I'm kind of confusing myself. I think. Yeah, this you is a different way. Wondering when I'm gonna let out an evil laugh and stab you in the back, yeah. twirling my mustache with my off hand. I am wondering that. Well, don't panic, boss. But in a way, that already happened. Oh. Bringing you here was it. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for making that a bit more transparent. Yeah, I don't have to wonder anymore. Okay, well, I mean, I, I, it did cross my mind a little. How do I get up to that one on the top? That one looks like a good place to be, too. It seems a little too high, though. I don't think there's any way of me to get... Oh, I probably need flight. I'll probably steal an ability from one of those whirly birds, and then I can hook up something to fly me up there. Maybe uh, ally with one of those pads, uh, the armadillos. Unless there's like another secret way that I can just generally hop up, which I don't really think there is. All right, well, you know what? Let's leave that for another day. Uh, we're in a nice position now where I know where I'm going. And I know where I've been, and I know roughly what I need to do next. There's still, like, two outstanding puzzles that I think I have solutions for. I just need to implement them. And then whatever happens in here, I guess, will be also forward momentum. So, that's another episode for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Magic Circle still going strong, still intriguing as ever. And I just, I hope that it gets bigger again before it gets smaller, if that makes sense. I mean, I think I've already kind of uncovered the whole map, unfortunately. This is going to loop back around to the beginning, I think. 
I'm, I'm a little sad that the, the world is not quite to the scope that I was hoping. But at the same time, there's some great stuff going on either way. Man, I could see this being like a full-featured AAA game release, like fully delving into this concept even bigger than this. Like, what if there was a, you know, like a 40-hour campaign to this, and you slowly but surely uncovered all these different crazy powers that interacted in ways you'd never even expect? I mean, I guess you'd have to make them really, really minute to start, that way you don't immediately unlock all of the options, but this is essentially just a, uh, a Metroidvania game under the guise of a first-person narrative-powered platformer slash adventure. Also, that texture is stretched. I'm your beta tester. You should know this. Okay, thank you for watching, everybody. I will see you on the next one. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like, and I hope you have a fantastic night. Talk to you all next time.